So white balance is uh, really the fourth variable you control on your camera, sh assuming you're shooting in manual mode. And it doesn't affect the exposure. What it affects is the overall colors in your photograph. The idea being you want to select the whitest point in your frame and have that be corresponding to what true white is. And if you get it right, the rest of the frame will look good. There's a couple different ways you can adjust your white balance. Uh, I personally like to put it on auto white balance and not worry about it. Some of the better ways to do it is to physically set it manually uh, using the Kelvin scale in your camera. Now, not all point and shoots have this ability, but all DSLRs do. And the Kelvin scale is a scale that ranges from 2500 up to 10,000. 2500 is going to be really blue, whereas 10,000 is going to be really yellow. And it's a scale that you adjust to get it just right. You can take a photograph, see where it is on the scale, and adjust accordingly. Uh, and again, Kelvin is color temperature, just like Kelvin is physical temperature. Uh, it's the same sort of concept. Another really great way to uh, set your custom white balance, and this is something I tend to do when I'm shooting basketball games because gymnasium lighting is so wacky. And what you physically do is you'll take, and most, almost all DSLRs have this setting. Uh, it's different between all the manufacturers, so you're gonna have to look up how to do it, but it's very simple. Um, so you select this option, and essentially is you hold out at something that's white, let's say a piece of white loose leaf paper, and you fire your camera at that paper under the light, with the light hitting the paper, and your camera will read that as the white balance and set the rest of your photos to be the same. What I even got to the point of doing when I was shooting a lot of basketball is I would have various white balances preset into my camera for various arenas. So if I was shooting at Madison Square Garden, I would have a Madison Square Garden color temperature set. So when I showed up there, i just set it and keep shooting. Got a couple examples here of uh, good and bad white balances that I'm gonna show you. This one is obviously too blue on the Kelvin scale, so this would be way down low towards the 2500 mark. And this one is a bit too yellow. Not quite close enough to 10,000, but higher up. And this one lies right sort of in the middle of those two, and this is a really good uh, color balance. Again, if you look at the purest white in this photograph, you can look at his collar, you can tell that his collar in this photo is a pure white, which means you nailed it. If you screw it up and you're shooting raw, it's something that's easy enough to fix afterwards in a raw processor like Lightroom. If you didn't shoot raw and you mess it up, you can always tweak it with color balance uh, in Adobe Photoshop, although it's going to be a lot harder to correct. And those are just the basics of picking and setting your white balance.